Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, the women's basketball team will look back on their home opener against Aquinas. John Trope comes down to the studio to talk more about their season, and Tanise Chapman gives her thoughts about the team going into the season. All of that coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome back to another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Allison Priggy. The Goshen College women's basketball team is now underway in their regular season. Last week, they took on 21st-ranked Aquinas College and lost in a close game. Tanner Camp has more on the story. The Goshen College women's basketball season started last Wednesday as they took on 21st-ranked Aquinas College. The Maple Leafs played a great game, but in the end, fell short as they lost 46-43. to Allison Priggy, senior forward and captain for the team, had this to say about the team's performance. So defensively, I think it was one of the best performances that we truly have ever had, especially in last year. That's one of the main things that we're focusing on this year is our defensive efforts. Uh, one thing that I don't think people got to see on Wednesday was we really do have a lot of offensive threats this year, a lot of scoring weapons. Uh, we just couldn't get the ball in the hoop on Wednesday. So moving forward, we really need to focus offensively on, uh, on scoring. Stephanie Miller, the head coach for the women's team, talked more about how this team is different than others when it comes to preparing for the game. From the very beginning, I felt different about the team in terms of the prep, uh, the pregame, the way they took the floor, the concentration in film. Um, you know, sometimes there's a fine line between getting the balance between uh, you want to be loose on game day, but you also want to be focused. This was a much more mature approach last week, and I felt very positive about that. Priggy and Miller both agree that the chemistry within the team is special. And for Priggy, it's the best team chemistry during her time as a Maple Leaf. This team really is special. Um, our chemistry is unlike any other team I've been a part of. We just really do have good team culture. Um, everyone has each other's backs on and off the floor. Uh, one of the great things I think about us is we can be super competitive at practice and you might get into it with somebody, but then afterwards, you know, you're going to go get dinner together and everything's going to be fine. So we push each other on the floor and then off the floor, we, uh, we get along really well. It's a really good uh, group of girls to work with. So um, They do a nice job with just understanding the balance of chemistry. I think a lot of people's vision of good chemistry is like we're all best friends and everybody gets along. And, you know, I just think that's unrealistic on a men's team or a women's team. Uh, what you have to be is just invested in your teammates and respectful of your teammates. And honestly, you have to have each other's backs. And I think this group really does a nice job understanding that, you know, we have different things in life and we have different things that we're focused on with school and friend groups. But when, it, when it's time to take the floor, this group's really connected in terms of supporting one another. I like that a lot about this group. I've only seen that one other time maybe quite like this. The two concluded with the idea that the biggest aspect that the team is focusing on this season is being fearless. They got to be fearless. They got to be fearless, play fearless. You can't play with the worry of carrying over some of the hangover from last year's disappointment. Um, you can't worry about who's taking the shot or you know what, how much time's left and don't be over concerned. You just have to play fearless in the way that you attack another team at practice, at games, and in life, really. One of the main things I think we're really focusing on this year is just having a fearless mentality uh, in the past. You know, when, when games would get close, we would get tight, and that fear would really kind of affect how we played. And so this year, our focus is to be fearless and to just go out there and give it all we got, and I'm really excited to see what we can do this year. The women are currently 1-1 one one on the season as they get ready for two upcoming games this week. For Globe Sports, I'm Tanner Camp. The women's basketball team will be on the road this Friday as they take on Cardinal Stritch University. When we return, William will be with John Trove to talk Goshen College men's basketball, that's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm William Troyer and to my left, John Trofe, head coach of the Goshen College men's basketball team. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Will. So your team's played two games this far. Uh, 
what's your takeaway from those first two games early on in the season with some new guys? How are you, how are you liking your team so far? Yeah, you know, so um, I was, you know, pretty pleased uh, overall from the weekend and how we defended. Uh, we've that's that's kind of been a, a thing that. Um, at least as a, as a coach, you know, I take my pride on the, the defensive end and our team should reflect that. And, uh, we defended pretty well, um, over the course of two games, you know, I thought we took, uh, we played the way we wanted to play. Uh, we played Goshen basketball. Uh, we, we walked out with a one and one record. Um, and I think that that was probably a little misleading cause we just didn't make, you know, we didn't shoot it at the level that we're capable of. Um, but you know, if we make, we make a few more shots in the first game. It's probably not that close. Um, we probably win, you know, pretty easily. And if we make a few more shots in the second game, you know, we're talking about uh, a, a battle till the end. Yeah. So lots of new players on your team. Some transfers, uh, freshmen. Uh, what are you trying to implement to those guys as they start to fit into the rotation, the system here at Goshen? Yeah. So I mean, I think the biggest thing is, you know, they just got to be, uh, they just got to compete and work hard. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's ultimately, you know, what we want to see. I think the, the thing that we've seen through the first few weeks of practice, the first two games is this is a competitive group. Um, and you know, like there's the, the, the great thing is I think we've got a lot of depth this year and, uh, guys that are working really hard in practice. And that's created the good problem of guys kind of looking behind their shoulder at their teammates, realizing, oh man, like if I don't perform, such and such is right behind me trying to get those minutes. And I think that can be really healthy for a program and really healthy for us, um, you know, and it gives us some options as, as coaches. Um, it gives us some depth and, and the ability to play, you know, maybe a few more guys than, than you would normally play. Yeah, so you're beginning your third year as the head coach here at Goshen, but you've been here since 2014. So how is this team different from years in the past, or what do you like about them that you maybe haven't seen in the past years from teams here? Yeah, I mean, I would say from a competitive standpoint, these guys are the most competitive. Um, you know, other than maybe one, uh, one other year that we had that I would say would compare to that. Um, but certainly since I've been the head coach, this is the most competitive group in terms of like everything they do uh, in practice, they want to be competitive. You know, part of me has actually had to like kind of loosen back on some of the like breakdown drills that, you know, us coaches love and we want to sit and walk through and do all this stuff. Um, you know, and, and, and kind of had to adjust for just how good our competitive segments are. Uh, there was like, like the second week of practice, we had a day where we did like four straight competitive drills and these dudes were going at each other, just back and forth, back and forth. And I remember thinking, man, this is the best practice we've ever had. Um, and then we as a staff just kind of were like, yeah, we just kind of got to embrace this competitiveness and maybe do a little bit less of the breakdown stuff where I think um, other teams have benefited from that, you know. Um, I always err on the side of the game's over coached and under taught, so I try and teach as much as possible. But with this group, I think they're 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 an older group. We've got a lot of upperclassmen, guys that have been around either our program or other programs, and and that's helped with that too. They kind of know what's going on, and the competitiveness is what really gets them going. Yeah. So you've been running the same offense for three years now. Uh, how's that offense starting to grow? Is there anything you've maybe some different looks that you've liked that you've started to see in this? Yeah, I mean, that was one thing that I was super pleased with over this first weekend, um, particularly. Um, you know, this, like you said, the third year. The first year we r ran it, we broke the school scoring record. Last year, we had to make some, some adjustments. And then this year, we're back to doing, I think, what, what we're, we're best at. And that's attacking the rim and shooting threes. Um, and if you look, we took uh, 120 plus field goal attempts in our, over the weekend and only three of those were mid-range jump shots and we really try and emphasize getting away from that shot and and taking shots at the rim and, and threes and I thought from a shot selection standpoint we've we've grown and we've accomplished that and the mid-range shots that we take um, we want to be like you know late shot clock wide open or created an advantage um, and, and kind of get away from the contested 17 footers that, you know, is the most inefficient shot in the game. So finally, what is the message you're trying to uh, implement into this team as the season goes on? 
Yeah, so we've got a, a, a kind of a saying this year called one more. Um, and it, it kind of came from our core values of ask that we've had for the last couple of years. But really the one more concept is about, you know, what's something you can do to get better every day. And that could be uh, in the classroom, on the court, off the court, in the community, with your family, whatever that looks like. Um, you know, but kind of getting guys to embrace that. And if they're willing to embrace that, you know, I really feel like then that means that we have, you know, tremendous relationship with each other, um, tremendous relationship with your teammates, tremendous relationships with your coaching staff. And, and it comes down to if you love the game, right, you'll love that process of getting better. And, uh, you know, I want to avoid what some Goshen teams have had since I've been here, and that's peaking too early, kind of falling apart down the stretch. You know, you know, or my, you know, my mindset as a coach and kind of when we, you know, talk about these things is let's play our best basketball at the end of the year. Um, and so continuing to get better, if we can go to bed at night thinking, okay, like this is something that I did to get better um, then it helps us move towards that goal of, of getting better every day, moving forward, and, and playing our best basketball down the stretch. All right, Coach, thank you so much for coming down to the studio today. Appreciate it. Thanks, Will. When we return, I'll be with Tanise Chapman looking back at last week's game against Aquinas College. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I'm with Tanise Chapman, sophomore forward for the Goshen College women's basketball team. Tanise, thank you for coming to the studio today. Thank you for having me. So last season, you led the team in rebounds and were second in points per game. What have you done in the offseason to get ready for this season? Um, I think first thing first, uh, I had to get mentally prepared, um, just knowing the simple fact that we were going to have to come back and prove something. So I think the simple fact that, like, our bonding over the summer is what brought us together and is what made us the strong team that we are now. So in your last game, you played 21st ranked Aquinas College. You had 12 points and 13 rebounds. What did you do to prepare for your first game this season? Um, I think we prepared uh, by, you know, uh, trying to focus on what we needed to do to get better. So, like, we knew that a lot of our downfall was um, – talking and communicating on the court. So we try to get better with communicating on the court and off the court and um, just, you know, listening to what our coaches had to say as feedback and just taking it all in and trying to use that to help with things that uh, go along on the court. Yeah, so in the offseason you brought in a lot of new players, four uh, freshmen, or sorry, three freshmen and one transfer. How are they adjusting to the team and, you know, the communication you just talked about, how are they adjusting with that? Um, honestly, I have to say they are just in good, you know. Um, I think our team does a very good job with, you know, taking players in and, you know, starting a family and a bond with them. Um, I would say that we, as a group collectively, are just, you know, have that good bond and that good team, teamwork and spirit together, so... Since your first game, you've had about a week to practice. How do you think this team has grown since that first game? Uh, coming into your next couple coming up? Um, I'll say we've grown a lot. Um, we especially have grown on the court. Um, we came for our first game with a lot of intensity, a lot of energy, and just the, you know, vibe that we had from the crowd and from the players that were on the bench. It was just tremendous. Like, we literally had a good environment for our first game. And I think if we can continue that throughout the rest of the season, that we will be good and that we can really be something serious. Finally, what are you looking forward to most as the season begins to get underway? Um, I think what I'm looking for most um, is just playing with my team, honestly. Uh, 
the chemistry that we share on the court is something that like you can't find anywhere else. And um, I think as long as we have each other's back and as long as we're determined and motivated, that we could be a team that's like unstoppable. Denise, thank you for coming by in the studio today. Thank you. When we come back, Allison will look ahead at your Maple Leafs in action this week. That's all coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College. Everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique, supportive community, right here in northern Indiana. Cutting-edge academics, real-world learning, and small, personalized classes make the difference, all surrounded by world-class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Let's go ahead and take a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. The women's basketball team will be in Wisconsin Friday and Saturday to compete in the Viterbo Invitational. Women's volleyball will be at home on Friday taking on Spring Arbor University while celebrating their senior night. And the team will also be traveling to Taylor on Saturday to take on the Trojans. On Saturday, the women's soccer team will take on Marion University on the road in the quarterfinals of the Crossroads League Tournament. And finally, the men's basketball team will be at home on Saturday taking on Trinity International. Thanks for watching this episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to follow our social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel at 911 The Globe, and check out our website at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner.